first, can I get your name and spelling on the tape? Um, Selsky, C-E-L-L-S-K-I. Now tell us about the, what you saw on the flight there. Well, um, I woke up to a lot of chaos. I was actually asleep when it was all happening. And uh, when I woke up, I seen all the passengers looking towards the back, and I seen an unruly passenger in the back, you know, getting into it with the stewardess. So, um, you know, as he got loud, I see a couple people, you know, unclamp their seatbelts, get up, run to the back. I unclapped my seatbelt, you know, made sure everything was cool because, you know, we was in the back. So I was just going to make sure he didn't try nothing and run by. So it was basically just an unruly passenger. Came out the bathroom with no socks and no shoes, with a razor in his hand, and had everybody kind of spooked, you know. I mean, how did you know that uh, you were landing all of a sudden? It was it that? Um, what well, they announced it, they said we was going to make an emergency landing in Colorado. So um, we landed in Colorado. Police um, rushed the plane, got the dude under control, then the FBI and the dogs came on the plane and made us all get off, and we were stuck out there for about three hours. And I'm just glad to be home right now, man. Yeah. yeah. Now, do you think this was an overreaction, underreaction? What it been? Uh, I mean, anything on the plane, I, I would never say it's overreaction because you don't know what's going on these days, man. We're in 2010, terrorism is at its all-time high. So, you know, we have to stay on top of stuff like that, you know? You can't, can't, can't let nobody, you know, think they're going to have the upper hand on no planes. So, you know, especially with real men like me on the plane, and um, shout out to the other guys that was on there who was, you know, ready for whatever. All right, man. Thanks a lot. You're Appreciate from, it. And you're from? I'm from San Francisco. All right.